तो वेलकम बैक एवरी वन दिस टाइम एक नया फॉर्मेट ट्राई कर रहे हैं जिसमें इंस्टेड ऑफ टॉकिंग टू एवरी वन इन ग्रुप टेम्परेचर इज कॉलिंग इट कॉफी विथ श्रेयस बट कॉफी तो नहीं है एंड डेफिनेटली वो क्या पी रहा है पता नहीं बट ऑलवेज कॉफी ओके मेरे को लगा जब तक ब्रांड डील नहीं मिलती तब तक डोंट रिवील व्हाट यू आर ड्रिंकिंग आल्सो तो प्लेन कॉफी लास्ट वीडियो देखना वल्लभ भाई सर बट प्लेन इंडियन कॉफी वी वेंट वेरी कमर्शियल वी वेंट वेरी कमर्शियल वी टुक ओ माय गॉड ऑल द नेम्स ऑफ पोटेंशियल स्पोंसर्स बट अभी तक स्पोंसर्स नहीं मिले तो प्रोमिनेंट नागपुर बिजनेस पीपल सो दैट दे कैन बिकम इनडायरेक्ट हां ओए आज का आई थिंक वी डोंट हैव एनी सेट एजेंडा देयर आर थ्री थ्री फोर टॉपिक्स विच आई वांटेड टू टॉक विद आकाश सिंस अ लॉन्ग टाइम और अभी मुझे बहुत गालियां आते रहते हैं कि श्रेयस कुछ खुद का शेयर नहीं करता तो आज आकाश चुप है नाश में नहीं थिंक एंड आई विल आंसर ऑनेस्टली ये मी बट या बट ठीक है आई थिंक हां ये ये पहले एक दो मिनट इज व्हाट द ब्रेथ ऑफ टॉपिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू वी प्लान टू कवर बट लेट्स सी क्या-क्या कवर करते हैं तो अभी वीडियो रिकॉर्डिंग करने के लिए वी आर जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट शाहरुख खान and i just found out ki shambekar is not that big a fan of shahrukh khan as i thought he is kyunki usne sirf isi saal shahrukh khan ke teen picture dekhe hai aur uske low films mein usne shahrukh khan ko support nahi kiya so i am already judging you shambu but <laughs> so <laughs> let's matlab... let's talk about shahrukh khan first ha matlab yes shahrukh obviously because like uh, uh, yesterday jaise mai bhai ka shares ko context bhi bata raha tha ki i watched a youtube creator usne apna ek preference bataya shahrukh ka ki how he has evolved liking sharukh the person more than sharukh the actor uh like jaise mere case mein i have always uh, tried to watch as much of his films uh, but as i mentioned i have not watched the before his four year hiatus maine uske char ya panch movies dekhe hi nahi because somehow i was not connecting with sharukh still playing the lavida we adult at the age of 40 45 wherever when he was playing at 45 almost तो आई बिलीव चेन्नई एक्सप्रेस एंड उसके बाद एक जो मूवी आई थी आई गेस वेयर वन ऑफ माय लास्ट व्हिच आई वॉच इन द थिएटर एंड उसके बाद आई कुंट कम कम अराउंड टू वॉच देम ऑन थिएटर और ओ टी टी एज वेल लाइक इट्स नॉट दैट आई हैव नॉट हैड अ चांस इट्स जस्ट दैट आई डोंट लाइक दैट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ हिज एक्टिंग बट दैट्स वॉट लाइक शाहरुख पर्सनैलिटी सेल्स तो मेरे को वो एक था कि तो आई एम नॉट कैप्टिवेटेड बाई दैट पार्ट ऑफ हिज एक्टिंग आई स्टिल लाइक हिज ओल्डर जेम्स दो सम ऑफ देम might be as so many movies don't they have not aged well because how they were written and conceived at that point of time but he has given his all his best and compared to the times of those were like what were those times usne kafi acha he has represented the, that era but apart from that one of my biggest uh liking points about sharukh ever is like sharukh the persona sharukh and sharukh the yeah. businessman as well so like hmm. like he is with wisdom also like one of his uh, like which is uh, obviously a light hearted remark but what he says stands quite true in terms of like you should not philosophize at least to the masses till you become rich like make moola before you philosophize like that's true but like you can sit have a drink with your friends and then philosophize as much as you want but then that's between people but then agar aap samajik gyan lene ja rahe ho to make sure that you have some standing to do that maybe not always monetarily but ha any kind of societal standing so those kind of things so yeah i am a sharuk fan more of a person and uh, a person personality and business than uh, just sharuk the actor uh, and also as i was stating also most of the sharuk films that i like a lot have turned out to be average performers like uh, mo- mostly everybody loves swades and we know how uh, swades turned out uh, i really like his asoka which was for that time was beautifully crafted but for whatever reasons it didn't work uh i really like fan ra, 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 fan and raise also but raise was one of the only ones which actually did commercially really well i think and fan also kind of bit did okay but yeah, apart from that uh, yeah like um, these movies have not turned out to be well but yeah that does not uh take me away from liking how i follow all his what he does what he says what he speaks and all because he's he has that thing maybe uh, you never know like i really would like to believe sharuk writes all of it but even if he writes 50% of the stuff that he says that is quite insightful from where he's coming from and obviously a lot of his personal experience are his own no writer can write by by jumping into his mind so maybe like some random talks he might be given cues for but जो वो अपने 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 पर्सनल लाइफ एक्सपीरियंसेस शेयर करता है या फिर काफी जो होते हैं और हिज विट लाइक यू कैन टेल अ लॉट अबाउट हाउ पर्सन 
does by his wit and when he interacts with people also his humor is never putting down people like it is always kind of uh, uh nudging them or like light hearted banter which is humorous and contextual so that way that way he's like he's good stage personality and all that so that's good like i really like him for so many other facets apart from just his acting which i think so he might not be very happy if he ever comes across a person who comes and tells me sir i like you more than for everything else apart from your acting it's like bhai to mera rozi roti hai but then i think so he has attained that kind of uh star level presence that you can say that he can do what he wants right now which he did this year with pathan and jawan do a lot of people would say they are not his best works but yeah uh, even a 56 he is living his dream by doing action movies for which he turned out to be in bollywood i agree so i also not met very pe- very many people who are fans of srk the actor only because acting wise i think uh, there are better actors definitely uh, in the indian film industry or everywhere but ha jo tune bola na ki srk the person or i think definitely srk in interviews is something i always pick up something which is a life lesson but it's very rare for someone to speak on so many diverse topics and have a unique opinion and still teach you something which like which you feel ke acha theek hai ha there are things where people love him despite let's say the i would say mediocre movies that he does but i won't say ki movies are his roger roti i think is he, he has huh. this personality where people go because it's shahrukh khan film it's not because and it is not pre- he's his, acting in it or something his, uh, interviews and all that are not preachy as well like matlab he's not trying to preach you something in it it's just more like he's just talking about his experiences or whatever he has picked up and it, a lot of it resonates with you because like a lot of people see him like people like most people from like a uh, mildly privileged sect like we are privileged uh, class he was also not like really doing yeah. like when he very was coming from he was a middle class boy uh coming up as he says he did not have a lot of struggles for him which is great but a lot of people do uh have different kinds of struggles in their careers but then he shared his fair share of ups and downs but then when he says things it's more like he's deriving from all his past experience and also he has hit a lot of low phases but then he always tries to derive something out of it like for himself maybe those parts he has not shared because obviously losing a parent and uh, losing both parents and all that would be really tough he talks about it but obviously he is not so open about it because i think that that's something that really close to your heart and which you obviously won't want to discuss too much in public also he references them a lot but obviously the emotional part of it is not something that everybody want to be would want to be so vulnerable about all the time but yeah you can just listen to him and just feel good about just listening to him that's it without anything else yeah like so i think there's one intro sharuk main theko bheja tha shayad very really uh-huh. speaks uh, a lot about his family and all so he's writing a book i'm waiting for his book to come out because i think srk the writer is also a very deep person because i don't as you mentioned he even if he writes 50% of the speeches he gives it is a very very nice way of uh, let's say putting across your ideas and not preaching them but yeah, just sharing uh-huh. my experiences and people will it so let i i'll share that link with you again but to dekh na bro it's really good i think his book is he's still writing the book and what i also mentioned it because his life his life story is only like a film like it can be a very successful film uh, but i don't know i think biopic to uski bhi banegi but hopefully not shahrukh Shara. himself shahrukh <laughs> uh, singh maybe matlab yeah. vicky kaushal and all these people are now quite gaining going like 30s and all me but then maybe some new young actor when shahrukh is in his 70s would come in and yeah. play shahrukh uh-huh. who knows but so has your equation with shahrukh changed because i'll give my perspective also obviously but i find ki shahrukh to khud shahrukh hi raha it just i grew up and in different phases of life i worshiped him for some things which i later found out okay not happening and then now i'm okay with him so i'll 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 just explain my arc with him so when i was a kid i liked shahrukh the movie personality because i did not know i had not seen his entries etc so i watched kabhi khushi kabhi gham i liked this entry a lot i liked uh-huh. uh, kal ho na ho i had that masiya complex ki ha i am the one who saved the world etc so uh-huh. those were like larger than life personas where i feel ki uska ek woh image ban gaya ki he is someone who is i won't say who is academically very brilliant but he is uh-huh. socially he is the life of the party like he 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 is the personality around which the film revolves uh, even though it had other actors like let's say amitabh bachchan etc so that yeah. i like about him and i took my parents i took my friends to watch kabhi khushi kabhi gham in theater kon dekhta hai 8 saal ke the like uh-huh. it was 2000 so 
that I write initially about him. And then as I started, uh, let's say in my teenage years, I found out, okay, he's a family man. Gauri is his child. So you find bits which you relate with, right? So he hmm. married his childhood uh, sweetheart. And sadly, then I grew up and then all these other affair rumors and all came in, like Jenga Chopra and event. And he, he had like a no-kiss policy in films, which other heroes did not. Amir Khan made very great movies, but as a person, I didn't like Amir Khan that much. He He's divorced, he's cheated on his wife, etc. So that personality part seeped into the films. So I said, Haan, acting is right, but it's not good. And which Haruk is the opposite. Acting is right, but it's not good. So like, that was my, let's say, teenage years of life. And then he had this spate of movies which did not do well. But still, I watched every movie of Shah Rukh Khan in theater. Every movie. Uh-huh. I thought I'll give up beach mein, But I even watched Happy New Year and Dilwale. Matlab, Dilwale from Rohit Chetty. So uh-huh. that phase, mein bhi I was with him. And it was more like, he, you always have that hope, right? Ki next movie, probably he'll regain his old charm, etc. So, uh-huh. oh, and now Dunkey was again. I thought, Rajko Arirani plus Shah Rukh Khan. So there will be something. But I think the trick is to have no expectations. So... Huh. That is saying, and last was yeah, one thing I wanted to tell you in the current phase, I feel he's doing his own thing, but even pandemic and all came, and I don't know whether he took a break or something, but now he's not being himself, and I understand that too because he tried mm-hmm. being himself and the world rejected it. Like you mentioned, Ashoka, Ravan, Achi movies there, he, he tried experimenting, but they did not work, huh. and I feel somehow he's become so big a star now that. Critical acclaim doesn't matter as much to him as much as the commercial success does. So huh. I now respect his choices, although I don't uh, empathize with them. <laughs> but yeah, my overall arc. Hai. So how has your relationship with Shah Rukh Khan changed? Ha, the, the, the interesting bit about this is like, for me, for a while, like, just say, uh, like I, I think I'll take it reverse. I you I like, for me, because my large part of my young adult food, for most part, I was, I had come to terms with Shah Rukh is not a great actor in terms of the roles he's doing. He's a very good actor because you can see he can emote, he can act, like he can bring, like he's an imperfect good actor. Like the reason for a long time, they say you compared with Amir also, Salman acting now, I don't want to go and Neither I want to bring the ratings of the jo hai, wo bhi, wo bhi nahi so let's keep Salman out of the picture. But Amir ke case mein, I thought Amir is great as an actor. Like Gajni Deke, I was literally bold over like the kind of acting he's doing. But then more and more of Amir's movies that I started watching, I was like, he's trying to be too perfect of an actor for that that particular role. Madhav, yes, you're trying to cre- build a persona, but you the and so the character should be flawed. That's how human beings are. Like you can't try to portray them like too methodol, like uh, methodologically, like how people do it. Like in that way, I really like. Like uh, that's a tangent, but that uh, I'll get to it later. But then coming back, Shahrukh is making. Uh, he portrayed a lot of those characters, whichever he did in a very humane way, and his characters were very relatable with all those flaws and sometimes shitty acting also. But they were there and they were good, decently good. But I had made peace with it for at least now more than a decade. And this, I think, so started kicking in sometime around 2010s, early 2010s. Like, uh, but jo, wo tha ki was a star in 2003, jo, jase, uh, kal hona mein, like he was bringing everyone 2000 mein, kabhi khushi, kabhi and all that. So I, I thought the culmination of all that was 2007, it was like everybody turned up for Shah Rukh in that movie. And then that that I realized that now he, the, I think that, that was the starting point that I started figuring that like, he won't have that kind of like his like ability wow. to do mistakes. But then I that I... Uh, there is some disconnect happening. I couldn't pinpoint it because we were what 15, 16 mm-hmm. then. But when I look back at it now, as we are conversing, ki, like that kind of disconnect started happening. Those are thoda thoda, like Om Shanti Om Deki, it was like thoda fun, thoda wacky. Like it was weird, but then it was like overall a good entertaining watch. But then uh, I think so over college ke time, maybe uh, we did keep going to most a lot of his movies. Uh, and uh, I think so Ravan was in 2011, I believe, or 2012. 
and uh, the that was like I said, effort I really liked what he tried to portray. And then I guess those are Tera was one more like Tera and Chauda. And the last movie that I could really connect in that phase was uh, Fan and Rays, as I said. And then mostly, largely over the two two thousand ten ka decade, it's not a lot of the movies that I think I got over like I got along with. But okay, that I had made peace with, so I was never uh, very disgruntled. I liked overall his persona, how he was marketing it, and how he was showing different facets, how he was growing. Like I was interested in knowing more what he did apart from his movies also. So I started following more on what Red Chilies does. and uh, like his entertaining company and so many other things like so those things always kept kept me engrossed but as like going before 2007 yeah i was like sold this guy i never had god complex kind of thing with him but then uh, i always really liked the energy and the spunk that he got and he was playing and that was the time where he played mostly as close to as his age he could play at that point of time and with also actresses about as close to as his age that he could act with in a romantic setting so yeah that going back yeah, th- that was more of the time when i was like kind of uh, getting uh, falling in love and in getting infatuated by the work that he was doing it was like then and that time i did not know much about his personality either because i'm thankfully so because maybe if i had known his personality in the 90s or 2000 where like ye jaake wo kisi news reporter ko peek diya and all without knowing the context because at 7 or 8 even if you know the context or don't know the context context if an actor goes and gets in a brawl with a reporter it's not going to sound well like this is a bad guy so uh yeah i started like i think so it's in two phases only like or two and a half three phases one is getting to know him liking his movies watching him uh then gradual phase of uh Uh, disillusion disillusionment with his acting and thoda moving away in terms of his acting but getting to know the individual better over the 2005 to 10 12 period and then mostly yeah i'll go and watch some of his movies which i want to which i like whom he's collaborating with but i'll keep following the work he does and the other things i like listening to him so i'll fo- find out more stuff what he speaks or writes about to follow or follow about him so that is i think so it's like in three sections only so nothing like it is like one one and a half and two kind of like that it's a that phase so pretty much utne mein mera sharukh ka journey hai and i think so as 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 jaise end mein mera like like uh, looking towards the future i think so it will be something like uh, bhai abhi to he is becoming like a lot of people are, would call now jaise donkey more or less a flop like donkey i did watch in the theater and uh, yeah like i i felt what the messaging like one thing that i had to say even though the acting was okay subpar uh, uh, but he did put his best foot forward as much as he could i think but overall just the coherency of the story and all that was not good but i feel the heart of the movie is in a good place compared to because the first two movies of the year were all masala big time masala movies with their bits of social messaging with jawan had a lot of it uh, but uh, then which is good especially him breaking the fourth wall that was like the end of jawan was amazing like it was brilliant uh ballsy moves by any creator and actor of such a magnitude but donkey made the messaging overall was great like uh, what they were doing they a lot of people who have uh, empathy or know or even read about such things do like it was humanized a lot and shown a lot of it it was like done thoda zyada commercially i would feel but obviously when you're doing it with a star that's a problem as well like if this would have been more like a indie movie it would have created more impact even though it would have reached fewer people but with a bigger star the message has spread further maybe a lot more people would look, look at it in a humane way also but still a lot of people would say it is not so much of a successful movie commercially because aapki pehli do movie saal ki 1000 1000 crore kama li 1000 1100 1200 crore aur ye kuch 500 crore tak hi ja payegi abhi 300 saal 300 crore something or 500 crore or oh, didn't do that well but then that's not always the point of a creator right like even if an actor does couple of movies for masses and he does one for him so that's a good spread that he's doing like some make yeah. 6 700 crore and some make 100 crores like that's great like dear zindagi was a great movie he was a side character in it but like side main character i would say by because the movie was it was led by a female driven lead in alia and sharukh was like kind of a the presence just there around it he was not hogging the limelight yeah on that note i'd really like to say that whenever sharukh comes in even as 
smaller roles i like that a lot especially like if people who have not watched gram master sorry but uh, when he did that uh, starting wala scene and piece that was amazing like it was just like a five minute piece but it was brilliantly put and shot and like it was like kind of his welcome back thing like he was gone from the screen for like three and a half years four years almost and the de- december of last year he was like i am back types so and like that is a good introduction reintroduction to him and but he does these small bits or slightly larger bits also like in dear zindagi what he did for like 40 minutes 45 minutes whatever like he might have done uh so yeah those he he can be the he can be he can be huge star but not hog all the limelight he has that uh yeah. he doesn't take away from the story necessarily but another as shortcoming is he can't be in really small stories either that's the point like he might not hog the limelight like this is swadesh me you know shahrukh is playing mohan bhagwat but the nowhere it takes away from the mohan bhagwat uh, sorry not bhagwat <laughs> ट he's kind of a narrator like it is from his perspective that the story is flowing forward and not the story is just him that way so that is something i really like he does even in the small roles ek one point i want to take away so you mentioned that he doesn't talk about uh, the aspect of his like parents etc but i think he references and he has now made like a kind of two three incidents in narrates a lot but obviously does not go into detail so hmm. that's why i was going to tell you ki the uh, the intro that i mentioned earlier right i think ya koi to be interview where he mentioned uh-huh. it, he has written it in his book also his father took him to uh, pakistan on the like they are originally from there from before partition his father was a freedom fighter his father he calls his father the most successful failure in the world so there is one beautiful line which is written ki when they were coming back from pakistan uh, his father told him ki meri halat bhi matlab is desh ki tarah ho gayi hai jahan ja raha hu wahan belong nahi karta aur jahan belong karta hu wahan so so I think Shahrukh is stuck somewhere there in a way he he can do older movies but they won't be as successful like so this wasn't successful if Shahrukh Khan does this or this now it will tank and I feel he is now cut himself into so many circles so in all these three movies he played like a armed force officer either army or spy as a so he uh-huh. has to have a nationalistic angle to it so that he doesn't get cancelled he has to make a film which is a commercial success Huh. it has to appeal to a lot of masses so it has to tick certain uh, check marks and ha huh. if a film is a massive film it cannot have a deep impact on you yes and you go into a shahrukh khan film hoping to feel those emotions ki ha ek moment pe i'll cry ek moment pe i'll feel ki eagle ho gaya and that is not possible now matlab pathan jawan ka i'll completely discount then ki you expected rajkumar and there's a very beautiful review uh, i think rahul desai ne likha hai hmm. long film company hmm. ki Rajkumar Hirani films are like a old teacher who used to idolize in your head, and mm-hmm. when you go to watch the film, you want to feel the same uh, warm, comforting feeling that three days ago I had. That sense of humor is not relevant now, and that sense of storytelling is is also not relevant now. And you go into the film, and then you say that yeah, that was the time I was good. So you have grown up, and the filmmaker has not in a way. So you can predict certain things. You, I mean, if you when you watch then, you also you'll see a lot of. ग्लिम्सेस ऑफ शाहरुख खान मतलब वीर जारा के काफी एंगल्स है बट दोस फिल्म्स इट इज ब्यूटीफुली मतलब यस इट इट इज प्रोबब्ली अ नॉट टू दोस फिल्म्स बट देयर इज नथिंग यूनिक अबाउट डंकी इवन संजू आई डिड नॉट लाइक द लेट्स से स्टोरी बिकॉज़ इन व्हाइट वॉश संजू था बट इट वाज अ ग्रेट फिल्म मतलब रणवीर कपूर वाज संजय सेम थिंग सेम थिंग या आई हैड द सेम लाइक आई टोल्ड द फ्रेंड्स आल्सो दैट आई वेंट टू वॉच द मूवी विद कि इवन दो हाउ मच एवर आई डिडंट वॉच संजू इन द थिएटर आई वॉच्ड इट ऑन ओटीटी नेटफ्लिक्स पे आई थिंक सो तो तब मुझे वही लगा कि इवन दो आई डोंट लाइक हाउ लाइक केयरलेस इट इज बीइंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्टोरी टेलिंग बट इट इज लाइक देयर इज वन थिंग व्हिच ऑल राजकुमारी राजकुमारी रानी फिल्म्स हैव इज अ रिपीट वैल्यू लाइक आप थ्री डेज यू कैन मेक इट एनुअल रीवॉच एंड यू विल स्टिल फील गुड अबाउट इट बट आफ्टर मूविंग आउट ऑफ द थिएटर आफ्टर वाचिंग डंकी आई डोंट फील लाइक आई माइट वाच इट अगेन एंड अगेन मे बी वन मोर टाइम समटाइम हियर एंड देयर स्पेशली लार्जली टू वाच 
Vicky Kaushal's performance because that was a very impactful 10 15 minutes he played uh, yeah. and some segments i can fast forward and watch but it is not that much like a like the true blue like in the rajkumar hirani film where, where you'd want to go and watch it again and again type so that way yeah. it was kind of thoda sa that way disappointing obviously a lot of filmmakers minting 300 400 crores with the box office or 500 crores won't complain at all but i think so we expect more from that particular creator in terms of how we associate with all his past experiences even some uh, not so politically right ones yeah no, morally right sorry not politically right morally right ones uh, i think same uh, ranbir kapoor is i feel like a very he he goes in he becomes the character i watched animal also i again did not agree with the movie but it's not that bad matlab if you watch animal all that it's long second half may you will feel a bit distracted but you are engaged in the narrative matlab you escape and that i feel done came and it and it was more like i, I watched it in a bangalore theater with very civilized people around no one laughed at the jokes because they were very corny but no one also blamed it because 90% were definitely shahrukh khan fans so people hmm. went out of love and it was more like ye kab tak chalega but now i also feel ki shahrukh khan as a person is a completely director actor so it's not like hmm. he is writing the story he is making up the script etc so you can not expect so much just from one person <laughs> oh, he is oh, not what vishwa vishwa guru nahi hai wo to <laughs> i think that's the reality i also started to accept ki ha matlab he reached the peak and probably now he is plateauing or is already in the down hole so ha hmm. just enjoy the ride i mean as long as he's doing movies as long as there's a charukhan movie to look forward to i'm okay with that now 